I cannot believe what I'm actually witnessing here. Five strikeouts in a row for Pedro Martinez. Season replays, fantasy drafts, ultimate creative leagues, and what if the tournament? It's Coffee Cup Games with the coach, DKM. Hey, 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 this is Coach DK with Coffee Cup Games. Hope you guys are having a good one. Describe your perfect date. It's a tough one. <laughs> a romantic dinner, a night out dancing, a walk along the beach or in the park, a night in the jacuzzi. I'd have to say April 25th. Because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. Uh-huh. Well, it's official. April 25th is the perfect day. And in honor of that, we are going to have a perfect game challenge. Oh, my. That's right. We're going to pick one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball history. We're going to pick one of their best seasons, and we are going to put them against the worst players during that season. Nice! And the goal is to see if we can pitch a perfect game. You got it, dude. We're going to get three attempts. I don't care if we win or lose. The entire goal is to see if we can pitch a perfect game or at least a no hitter. So that's the perfect game challenge that we're going to be doing in this episode. And who's going to be our pitcher that we're going to be highlighting? None other than Pedro Martinez of the Boston Red Sox. And we're going to be using his 1999 season. 1999 was his best year. He won 23 games and only lost four. He had a 2.07 ERA and struck out 313 batters. He had a 0.923 whip. He won the Cy Young, came in second in the MVP, and he was an all-star. Impressive! So now let's go over the rules and guidelines for the Perfect Game Challenge. And here are the rules for the perfect game challenge. Number one, the pitcher will be the home team. He must use players on defense from his own actual team during that season. And we will be using the ballpark effects. And the field that we will be using will be the pitcher's home field. The team that the pitcher will be going against will be a selection of the worst players during that season by position. And to qualify, those players must have at least 300 at-bats. We will also have four additional players, an extra catcher, middle infielder, corner infielder, and an outfielder to fill out the roster in case the opposition needs to use a pinch hitter. And we also picked seven of the worst pitchers during that season to go against our opponents. They are going to be starters, relievers, and a closer who we believe are the worst players during that season. There will be no DH, no injuries, no bunts for hits, no hit and runs. And when it comes to our pitcher, we will be using the super advance or the pitch count when it comes to his fatigue. Those who don't know what pitch count is, that's a feature found on the computer game and a feature that I also use and created when I play card and dice. And lastly, we will give the pitcher three attempts as soon as the opposition gets a hit, the attempt is over. If he goes through all three attempts and has not gotten a perfect game or a no hitter, the pitcher has failed at the perfect game challenge. Obviously, Pedro Martinez is the first pitcher we're going to use to try to achieve the perfect game challenge. If you have a pitcher you'd like to see trying to achieve the challenge, go ahead and leave his name in the comment section down below. Now let's check out the lineup and the roster for the team that will be going against Pedro Martinez in this perfect game challenge. But before we do, I'm going to ask you guys, do me a quick favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, trying to get to 200 subscribers, and lastly, leave any questions, comments, or snide remarks in the comments section down below. And remember, if there's a picture you'd like to see me try to do this perfect game challenge, please put their name as well in the comment sections down below. And so now here is the lineup and the roster for a team that we are calling the 1999 Dum Dums. Brian Hunter, the Braves left fielder, is going to be leading off. Manny Martinez, the center fielder from the Expos, is going to be batting second. Marlon Anderson, the Philly second baseman, is going to be batting third. Shane Andrews, the Expos third baseman, is batting fourth in the cleanup spot. And Derek Bell of the Astros will be playing right field, and he's batting fifth. Doug Monkiewicz, which I'm sure I just butchered his name, is the Twins first baseman. He's going to be batting sixth. Christian Guzman, the shortstop of the Twins, is batting seventh. And Eli Marrero, the Cardinals catcher, is going to be batting eighth. 
And on the mound and batting ninth will be Daryl Kyle of the Rockies. The other four players we have filling out our roster is going to be our backup catcher, Chad Cruder of the Kansas City Royals. Our corner infielder is going to be Brent Gates of the Minnesota Twins. Our middle infielder is going to be Mike Benjamin of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And our extra outfielder is going to be Darren Lewis of the Boston Red Sox. So there's the starting lineup. Now let's go ahead and see if Pedro Martinez can achieve a perfect game or at least a no-hitter in this perfect game challenge. Here we are, our first attempt at a perfect game or at least a no-hitter. Pedro Martinez on the mound, Fenway Park, lousy night. Brian Hunter's going to lead off. He had 232, and he's going to lead off with a strikeout. Manny Martinez is now up. He had 245 in 1999. He's going to be strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Pedro Martinez. Now Marlon Anderson, the second baseman, is up. He had 252 with five home runs. And he's going to be strikeout. Brilliant. So three straight strikeouts to lead off Pedro Martinez's pursuit of a perfect game in the first inning. Top of the second. Here we go. Shane Andrews hit 195 with 16 home runs. So did have some power. Third baseman up to bat. And he's going to be strikeout. Four straight strikeouts for Pedro Martinez. Here's Derek Bell. He had 236. He's going to be strikeout. He's on fire. I cannot believe what I'm actually witnessing here. Five strikeouts in a row for Pedro Martinez. Mike Kielwitz is up the bat. The first baseman at 229 with two home runs. And he's going to hit a ground ball to Stanley. Stanley is able to pull that one as he had to make a defensive play. So finally, at least somebody for the Dum Dums gets a bat on the ball. But after two, it is still zero runs for the Dum Dums. Top of the third, Christian Guzman up to bat. The shortstop hit 226 with one home run. Here is the pitch, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Offerman at second base, easily pulled in, and that's going to be one down. And here's Eli Marrero, the catcher with 192, and he's going to hit a line ball right to Offerman. So Offerman with two quick outs. And now here is Daryl Kyle, the pitcher, and that's going to be a strikeout. The sixth strikeout for Pedro Martinez. So after three innings, Boston's Pedro Martinez has not allowed a runner on base for the Dum Dums. Top of the fourth, Martinez up against the leadoff man, Hunter, who struck out earlier in the first. And it's going to be another strikeout. The seventh strikeout for Pedro Martinez. And now Manny Martinez is up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to third base. And that's going to be two down. And now Marlon Anderson, who struck out, is going to be up the bat. He's going to hit a ground ball to Offerman for a quick one, two, three inning in the top of the fourth. Top of the fifth. Here is Shane Andrews. He struck out earlier in the second inning. He hit 195. He has the power on the team. And he is going to rip a home run in the fifth inning to end this pursuit and attempt for a perfect game. Pedro Martinez on the mound. Lousy night at Fenway. Brian Hunter, the left fielder, is up. He had 232 with four home runs. And he is going to hit a little dribbler in front of home plate. Veritek is able to pick that one up. That's going to be one down. And now Manny Martinez is up. And Manny Martinez is going to hit a line ball right at Stanley for two down. And now Marlon Anderson is up. And he's going to be strikeout. So we get out of the first inning without a hit. Top of the second, Shane Andrews, the third baseman, is up. He had 195. He did have 16 home runs, and he's going to be strikeout. A second strikeout for Pedro Martinez, and now here's Derek Bell. The right fielder is going to get a ground ball to Garcia Parra, who has to make a play. Give me that! And Garcia Parra with a great defensive play to keep Derek Bell off the base pass. And now Doug Monkiewicz is up, and Martinez going against first baseman with 229, and it's going to be a strikeout. At the end of two, we still have our perfect game intact. Top of the third. Here is Kristen Guzman. The shortstop hit 226. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be a strikeout. For a strikeout for Pedro Martinez. And now Eli Marrero, the Cardinals catcher, is up, and he's going to be strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now here's the pitcher, Daryl Kyle. And Daryl Kyle not going to allow Pedro Martinez to get three straight strikeouts as he hits a fly ball to center field, but that will be a routine out. And that's going to be the end of the top of the third. So after three, it is Boston with five. Dum Dums have zero. Nomar Garcia par with a home run and a triple so far. Damn! 
as he's been having a great game. Brian Hunter is up the left fielder, top of the order, hit 232 back in 1999. He's going to be strikeout. And now here is Manny Martinez, who fouled out earlier in the first inning. The center fielder, who hit 245, is going to hit a ground ball to Valentin at third base. That's going to be two down. And now Marlon Anderson, who struck out earlier, is going to hit a ground ball to Garcia Parra. And that's going to be a 1-2-3 inning as we go into the bottom of the fourth. Top of the fifth, Pedro Martinez on the mound going against Shane Andrews, the third baseman who had 195 with 16 home runs back in 1999. is going to hit a fly ball to Lewis in center field. Lewis sliding a little bit to his left. That's going to be one down. And here's Derek Bell who hit a ground out. And this time he's going to be strikeout. The seventh strikeout for Pedro Martinez. And now Doug Monkiewicz is up. He hit 229 with two home runs, and he's a one to nine for a double, and rest is an out. It's going to be a two. So that's going to end our pursuit for a perfect game or a no hitter in the top of the fifth. Here we are with our final attempt. Pedro Martinez on the mound going against Brian Hunter, the left fielder. Here is the pitch, and we are going to start off with a 1-7 to seven for a single. The rest is a lineout, and it will be a 13. So that could have been dangerous right off the bat. It will be a lineout to Valentin at third. So one down. Manny Martinez is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to third. So that's going to be two down. And now Marlon Anderson is going to be up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Valentin, and he's going to have to make a defensive play. Oh, it's a fantastic dive. And he will make a diving play to his left, hops up, throws out Marlon Anderson at first. First for the third out as we get out of that one. Top of the second, Martinez on the mound. He's going against Shane Andrews, who had 195 with 16 home runs. He's going to draw a walk. Go! So there goes our pursuit of a perfect game. Can we keep the no hitter? Here's Derek Bell. Derek Bell is going to be struck out. And now Monkiewicz is up. Monkiewicz only hit 229. He's going to be strike out. So two outs in the inning. Here's Christian Guzman, and Christian Guzman needs a 1-6 to six for a single. It's going to be a 12, so it's going to be a ground ball. Fielder's choice to end the second inning. Top of the third, Marrero up to bat. The catcher is going to hit a fly ball to Leary in left field. That's going to be one down, and now Kyle, the pitcher's up. He's going to be strikeout. The third strikeout for Pedro Martinez, and now Hunter's up. He's going to hit a ground ball to third. Whoopsie and it will be an error as Valentin does not pull this one in, juggles this one, and Hunter's on first, and now Manny Martinez is up, and we're going to let Hunter steal. Don't care about any of that. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be a strikeout to end the third, but the second runner gets on base for the dum-dums as they got on base with a walk, and then an error by Valentin. Top of the fourth, Martinez on the mound going against Marlon Anderson, the second baseman. He had 252. He's going to hit a ground ball to third, so that's going to be one down. And now Shane Andrews is up. He's going to draw his second walk of the game. And so now Derek Bell is up, and Derek Bell with a strikeout. So another strikeout for Pedro Martinez, and now Mikeowicz is up. Here's the pitch, and he's going to pop this one up. Offerman waves. Everybody all pulls that one in, so that's going to be the third out as we go into the fifth inning. Top of the fifth, Christian Guzman up the bat. The shortstop hit 226. He's going to hit a ground ball to Garcia Perry, who has to make a play. Whoopsies. And it's going to be an error. So I'd like to be upset with no more Garcia Parra, but the dude did marry Mia Hamm, the United States women's greatest soccer player ever. So no more, don't worry about it. Get the next one, kiddo. Guzman on first, so that's going to be their fourth runner on base. And now here is Eli Marrero, who needs a 1-10. to 10. It's going to be a 14. Awesome! So that could have been a single, but luckily the 20-die roll comes in our favor. So that's going to be one down, and now here's Kyle. He's going to bunt this one. We'll take the easy out. And now Hunter is up the leadoff, man. We're going to let Guzman steal. We're not worried about that at all. And here's Hunter. Hunter with a strikeout to end the fifth inning. Top of the sixth, amazingly enough, Boston only has three hits. Daryl Kyle, one of the worst pitchers in 1999, has kept us from scoring, even though we've had bases loaded a couple of times. But we're not worried about our offense. Here's Manny Martinez, the center fielder, who had 245. He hit a ground out and was struck out already in this game. Here's Pedro, and he's going to strike out. Manny Martinez. So now Marlon Anderson's up. He's 0 for 2. He's grounded out twice, and he's going to be strike out. 
So back-to-back strikeouts, and here comes Shane Andrews, who's walked twice. The only two walks that Pedro Martinez has given up is against Shane Andrews, and now what's going to do this time is going to be a fly ball to the Knicks in the right field. He's going to have to make a play. He's going to slide to his left, and he's able to make a nice catch, as that will be a 1-2-3 inning, and after six innings, we still have a no-hitter. Top of the seventh here is Derek Bell. Derek Bell is hitting 236 with 12 home runs back in 1999. He's been struck out twice. Here's the pitch. Pedro Martinez with another strikeout. That is the third strikeout against Derek Bell, the ninth in the game for Pedro Martinez. And Doug Monkiewicz is up. He's been struck out once and popped out. And he's going to be hit by a pitch so he's on base but that does not affect our pursuit of no hitter guzman's now up the shortstop with 226 he needs a one to 14 and it's going to be a 10 so that will be a single so in the seventh inning unfortunately we have lost our pursuit of a perfect game and the no hitter And there you are, our efforts for a perfect game with Pedro Martinez from 1999 was failed. In our first attempt, we made it into the fifth inning. In the second attempt, we also made it into the fifth inning before the Dum Dums got a hit. And then in our final attempt, it only took the second inning before the Dum Dums got on base, but we still had a no hitter. But unfortunately, that effort was ruined when the Dum Dums got a hit in the seventh inning. I hope you guys are enjoying this challenge, something that I'd like to be able to do more often. Until next time, this is Coach DK. Have a good one. Bye.